A number of years ago, a church I was working at had, uh, we had outgrown our building. And so we started meeting at the Performing Arts Theater in that city. And it led to a discussion of what to call the spaces we were meeting in. Do we call the Performing Arts Center being at church? Or were we just at the Performing Arts Center, you know, doing church? Or was the church meeting at the Performing Arts Center? And what about the building we owned? Was that still the church, even though it wasn't where we were meeting for our larger worship services? So it became this sort of theological discussion and question that we started having. And so I'm going to let you in on a, a poorly kept secret. I, I really struggle to call our building the church. Some of you know that, and so this is no surprise. But I'll call it the church building, or preferably the church's building. But I can't bring myself personally to call it the church, even though that is what almost everybody calls it. And I want to share some of the reasons why I came to that place. Not, not to change what you call a building, but because I want us to really know who we are. And I'm going to start with the obvious. We are the church. So when the Bible talks about the church, it may talk about a church that meets in a certain house or a church in a certain city, but it always the church that meets in that place, not the place itself that is the church. The people are the church. And the church is the people of God. So a local church is a local group of the people of God that are a subset of the global church or global people of God. And sometimes I hear people talk about sort of the small C church for the local church and the big C church for the global church. And one of the things I've observed about churches is that we are often identified by where we meet. And this is a lot of logical reasons behind it, but we have to be careful as well because it's very easy for the church to be identified by the building, not the people, or even the organizational structures, not the people. So when our community says Richmond Baptist Church, I want them to think about a group of people, not a uniquely hexagonal room or a nonprofit society. So when someone says they are part of Richmond Baptist Church, I also don't want them to mean that they show up at a specific location. I want that to mean that they belong to a specific group of people who in turn belong to Jesus. I never want us to think of our building as more holy than we are. I don't believe in holy spaces. I believe in holy people. God makes us holy. We are where God dwells in this world, and our building is not sort of temple where God dwells. It isn't the house of God. We are the house of God. And this is really important to me because I want us to see ourselves for what we really are. And sometimes the words we use begin to confuse us or even sometimes maybe even lead, mislead those around us. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, it says, Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple, and that God's Spirit dwells in your midst. You yourselves are God's temple. This was an important change from the Old Testament. Because of the work of Jesus on the cross and the Holy Spirit that God had given his followers, the temple was no longer a building. It was a people. Our building is important to us, for sure. Significant things happen in our building. It has a special place for us organizationally, and for many of us, it has a special emotional place as well. It serves a great function, but it isn't a holy building any more than your living room or anywhere else. So if you want to call the building a church, that's fine. I'll, I'll get over it. I'll be fine. But as long as you know and show that you know that you are the holy people of God. So when we meet in our parking lot or if you're in your home and you invite a few people into your living room on a Sunday morning to engage our worship service or for a community 411 group, that is still the church. We have still gone to church because we are the church, and wherever we gather, it is the church. So let's go and be the people of God. Let's be the church in our world.